Hello, my dear Nightshade, it's Otti again. I'm sitting here in Cologne at the Arts, Arts Theater. It's a venue where for concerts and stuff, and uh, I'm sitting here with uh, Claudio Braden. So, hi. Hi. First of all, hi. How are you hi. doing? Fine, I'm, and you? I'm Beth. Wow. Beth Narducci from Cloud Ravens. Uh, Beth plays bass. I'm Matthew. I play guitar and sing. Uh, cool. And um, we're here because you are touring with uh, Then Come Silence. Yes. yes. You have toured with uh, Then Come Silence last night, I think, yes. of this tour. Yeah. Last night of this tour. So um, you are from Brooklyn, from New York. Mm -hmm. So I think it's rather exciting to tour for you, is it? We're very excited to be Absolutely, here. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. So it's our first visit to, to Europe. Well, as a band, as yeah. A band. So um, what have been the coolest experiences you made on this visit to Europe? I think the most, I think the best thing so far is is becoming friends with Income Silence. Just amazing band and amazing people, and um, they've really been really helpful and courteous and generous and you know helped in so many ways. And just you know seeing the countryside and and um, meeting new people and uh, playing different cities and venues. It's been it's exciting to see people. Like sing our lyrics and know our, know our songs, it, <laughs> yeah. it, it feels like oh wow, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, a, it's a big. It's That's exciting, yeah. Cool. Just to explain to those people who really don't know you so far, uh, so what is your music all about? Are you post punk, I think, as well. Yeah, it's. Uh, I guess the basis of it is post punk, you know, whatever you want to call it, dark wave, gothic rock, a little bit of you know, um, dark alternative, I guess. Uh, I guess that's how I would characterize yeah, it. It's it's um, encompasses all those things. And how did you get into this uh, kind of music and into the scene? What was your? Oh, well, I have a long background in the music industry and uh, was into this kind of music, you know, as a teenager. Uh, and uh, and then I started working in the music industry, um, and I, I still do. Um, so. I have a management company, and uh, we we just we met at a bar in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. um, and sort of talked about all the bands that we liked from you know when we were younger. And um, for example, uh, oh well, I, I saw Clan of Zymox when I was 15. Um, you know, just big fans of, of I mean, Bow House, Bow House Sisters, Sisters of Mercy, Mercy, you know, uh, Tones on Tail, Misfits, just lots of. Them. So we. Connected and, and he mentioned that he had a project that he had, he had made an EP for, him and could he send it over to me? And I thought, oh boy, because <laughs> I I'm used to getting a lot of demos. I sign people to record deals, so when your friend says, you know, I have a demo for you, I want to listen to it. Can it can be awkward. <laughs> you, you know, I, it was just so incredibly good, and and it and it was sort of an amalgamation of all the all the influences, uh, and so uh, we decided to do it together, and um, and then yeah, that's been our, our our goal has been to sort of pay you know honor honor the the people that that we love, but kind of try to make it modern and also sound like us. So that's that's been the. That's been the sort of purpose of the of the last two records. Yeah. And when was that uh, exactly? When did you meet and when did you start this? Um, it was not that long ago. 2019. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Beth and I met shortly thereafter, and we didn't even play our first show until 2020, I guess. Yeah, because of COVID. Because of COVID. Yeah. So you were one of the bands that uh, wanted to start, and then the pandemic came. Yeah. It was a lot like that. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. It was a. It was also a lot of you know, remote recording. You know, just yeah. um, that kind of thing because uh, you know, everyone, everything was on lockdown. Yep. And um, since then, you started writing music. You have uh, how many uh, records? I think two. Yes. Records? Yeah. The, the last one was on Cleopatra Records, another kind of midnight, which we recorded during the pandemic, and then uh, and put it out at the same time. And of course, nobody was touring, so we couldn't tour on it. So before that record was even released, we started writing and recording the new record, Lost Hymns. So which just because which is on Nexalus, and we just you know it's just to keep the ball rolling because everybody was just kind of you know during lockdown, nobody was doing anything. So we're like, well, let's still let's keep being creative. Let's keep you know recording ideas, and and then it ended up being an album fairly quickly. 
And I think Nexus is a good uh, label for bands like yours. Absolutely. Yeah. And they know what they do. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're experts. Yeah. They, they've, they've, they were part of the creating of the scene. So. Absolutely. Yeah. So. And um, so now you, are, uh, you have toured here and. Um, What's the difference between US concert and German concert, or the audience maybe? Did you face anything like this? I think, what are the biggest differences? Um, I don't know, there's not, I would... Other, other than a language barrier sometimes, there's, there's not much of a difference. People are generally very nice in both, you know, the States and what we've experienced so far in Europe. People have been just fantastic, very nice, very... Uh, like Beth said, there, there are people here who already know the songs, so that was really a great surprise. Um, yeah, I don't know, I mean, as far as like the function of touring, I guess it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Just in that, um, you know, we know how to drive around the United States because <laughs> we've been doing it for all lives. And so, you know, that's like with Income Silence. You know, we would not have been able to navigate this without <laughs> without their help because they're the, like old pros and uh, in all around here. But um, from here, we go straight back and have one day off, and then we fly to California and join the Sisters of Mercy. Oh, and then we have a bunch of dates with Sisters of Mercy. So we go from here to like 4,000 capacity venues where we're <laughs> going to be like, ah. uh, and then we also uh, we pick up from that tour and we land, we're on Planet Zybox. So we are short and uh, we have short time because you are going on station now in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. yes. So we'll cut the interview now. Okay. I hope we can do another one soon. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Nice. absolutely. And, um, do you do them on Zoom as well? Do you do them uh, on, uh, online? Do you do yeah, sure. Okay. Yes, so we can do online, we can do Zoom. Zoom, um, yeah. So we can do a longer one with more deepness. So thank you. No, thank um, you so much. I'm I sorry. Hope you enjoy the show now. We'll enjoy it hopefully. Yeah, I hope so. We hope you enjoy it. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And bye, people.